My grandmother was a thread that stitched the family together. My name is Paula Mateo. I'm an artist. I live here in Reading. I am first generation American. Both of my parents are Dominican. If you look through a catalog of people in the Dominican Republic, it's all different shades, all different colors. And it's like, where do these colors come from? So I did my own research and I did my own exploration. I used to straighten my hair a lot. Like the first time I got my hair chemically straightened, I think I was about four and a half years old. And then I decided to stop straightening it. And that's when the comments started. Well, that was actually one of the beginning stepping stones of me making art. My intention is, it was mostly to, I guess, say through my work, I know what I am and I'm not ashamed of it. I was raised in New York until I was about five, five and a half, six. And we moved here to Reading officially when I was about six, seven years old. And then I actually went abroad to the Dominican Republic um, where I got my associates in applied sciences. And then I finished my BFA at Parsons in New York. From 2018 to 2019, like I was already working my three jobs. I had my apartment, like my plan was to stay there for like at least five to 10 years. And then I wanted to move to Europe until my grandmother got sick, which is when I moved back. Hi, Jeffrey, how are you? She died in, oddly enough, two days before her birthday, so April 27, 2018. Yeah, I could build an amazing career and I could travel to all these different places, but after she passed, I felt like it was each of our responsibilities to keep getting together even if she wasn't here so i stayed art was fantastic for me <laughs> and i want that to be an option for the kids in the city thank you for coming and not just the kids but also all their family members <laughs>